What is going hey. on, Crimson City? <laughs> My name What's is Crimson What's going on, Crimson Seabed. City? <laughs> My name is Crimson Seabed. It's A-Drive. Bringing you guys, that's... <laughs> for another episode. Is episode number eight of the eight. Pokemon. Oh, nine. It's nine. Nine? Nine? Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely nine. Get your stuff together, Omega Chase. Ruby Jeez. Sapphire Extreme Randomizer Shiny Brace Nuzlocke. And if you guys missed the last episode, it was on your boy XADR1v3's channel. Uh, make sure you guys go check it out. Subscribe to him if you're not for whatever reason. Um, that's why you guys are probably only seeing random episodes of this and not the other ones. You're like, didn't you upload the another episode? Blah, blah, blah. Something along those lines. I don't know. But it's over on his channel. Go subscribe over there. While you're down in the description, you can check out not only the link to the last episode, which is on his channel, a subscription link to A Drive himself, but you can also enter to win a Nintendo Switch. That is going on for just, I believe, two more weeks. Something like that. Yeah, so get that it, switch. Someone's got to win it. Could someone's got to win that switch. It could be, yes, it could be you, little Timmy. Um, and in the last episode, we took on the Mobile City Gym, and it was a doozy of an episode. So if you guys want to check that out. Um, part of me wants to take on the, the Winstraight family, and the other part oh, of I'm me... I'm doing it. Oh, you're, you're, you're a god among men, sir. You are absolutely... Time. All right, well, we're just going to hopefully Ragermon just kind of runs through runs through the six. But, yeah, if you missed the last episode, go check it out. Go subscribe today and leave a like if you're excited. Subscribe if you're new. And, yeah, here we are taking on... Oh, good. I was hoping they wouldn't have all six, you know, uh, all six Pokemon. Like if they were all gym oh, leaders or rivals. That actually would have been really unfortunate. That would have been... Yeah, this Durant is power. Oh that would have been really bad. I forgot I learned shift gear last episode, so I am I am excited. We never do team recaps. Do you think those are necessary? Yeah, I got uh, some Pokemon. You can see them under me. Uh, if you watch all the episodes and you're recapped. Sweet. <laughs> I, I really... Welcome to Poke2Big in uh, 2018 over here. I can't get mad about that. I can't actually be mad. All right, I want to talk about Pokemon Nintendo Switch. Yeah, no, we were just talking about it beforehand. We've, and then, we've and never, then we've never talked about that, and like no other YouTuber, or Pokemon nobody YouTuber is talking about it. Nobody. So I feel like we should be the ones to bring we it. We should be the first person to enlighten you on Pokemon on the Switch coming soon. I went on this rant yesterday on my live stream, and I kind of want to capture that. I don't know if I talked about it yesterday during our episode, but I feel like I have some, some things I want to talk about. Okay <laughs> by, by, by all means, I am going to be sitting here at the Sandstream Rank that's getting scald burned. You do you. Did you, did you, do we have a conversation about the fact that Nintendo wants to sell 20 million Switches next, this year? Did we talk we about We did that? not have a conversation, no. Okay, good. So this is new information for, for Th This everyone is actually watching. brand new information for me as well, so. This is good. So Nintendo has come out uh, earlier this year and said that for the fiscal year of 2018, which ends in March of 2019, that's just kind of how it works. They want to sell 20 million Nintendo Switches. 20 million Switches. So just in the year or idea, since launch? No, this year coming up. Okay. Like from now till basically next so, year. So, 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 so quarter two. Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, because that's how their fiscal year works, right? Yep. So they want to sell 20 million Nintendo Switches. Now, to give you an idea, I'm pretty sure, and my numbers are not probably, it's, they're probably not exact, but roughly they sold about 14 or 15 million uh, since launch. Something okay. like that. Okay. To give you an idea. So they, they, they're they coming out and saying, we want to sell 20 million consoles this year. Doom, Desire, oh my God. Tell me, that's a charge move, right? Oh my gosh, dude, I got so scared because that would have probably knocked me out. Uh, that's more likely. Um, yeah, so they want to sell 20 million switches. So in order for them to do that now granted when a company like Nintendo comes out and says something like this They're saying it because one they're ha they have their own targets and their goals, but they do have mm -hmm. shareholders They're a publicly traded company. So they're trying to Basically please the people who have invested in their company. That's a really important thing when it comes to publicly traded companies so mm -hmm. They want to sell 20 million switches, right? Mm -hmm. So in order for them to make that projection, it has to be based on a pipeline. Now, this is my, my statements here are based on me having a business background, but I don't know, obviously, what Nintendo is thinking. But mm -hmm. they have some sort of a pipeline or a plan uh, laid out to say, hey, this is what we're going to do yeah. in this year to accomplish this goal of selling 20 million, million that's, switches. That, right? That's most people. If you have a goal, you don't just say, you know, oh, I'm going to, oh, that was a submission frillish on my normal fighting type. That's incredible. Um, you don't just set out, you know, say, all right, I want to hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube this year. And then you're like, well, I, what do I do now? Like, you typically have <laughs> a, a, you know, there, there's a plan involved, uh, typically. You gotta do you know? something. This you is parental bond frillish. Okay. Yeah, so they have, they have a pipeline that kind of says, okay, we're going to try to do this, this, and this to get to where we want to get to. 
Now, uh, with all that said, so far the biggest title that's been announced for the Nintendo Switch in this fiscal year has been Smash Brothers. We don't know when Smash Brothers is coming out. We can assume towards the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Smash Bros. is obviously going to be big. Yeah. I did a little research to kind of get some in some insight on how big Smash Brothers was. And in its lifespan, roughly, it sold something like 5 million units on the Wii U and about just under 10 million units on the 3DS, um, which is pretty good, right? So about 15 million units. But you can't expect it to do that for the Switch because... And that was over the course of its lifetime, so that's not that's not in a year. So you have to kind of think about that. But um, so kind of factoring that in, you say, okay, so it sold, you know, let's say, you know, ten and, and five is roughly 15, 15 million units. But that's not how many consoles it sold. That's no. how many units of yeah. the game it sold. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you can't say, okay, it's going to sell fifteen million consoles. That doesn't really make sense because a lot of people already had a Wii U, a lot of people already had a 3DS, and they bought it previously. So you know, and that was over its lifespan. All right, so the initial just first life. Oh boy. Eruption Sorry. Eruption Mega Gengar. Okay, that's actually scary, dude. Uh, yeah, yep. Wow. Wow, that's actually really scary. Um, sorry to hear. There. Uh, you're good. You're good. Keep talking about how many units versus y I'm gonna cry. Yeah. So anyway, so I I think a, a safe prediction, assuming Smash comes out at the end of the year, how many switches is it gonna sell? Maybe five million switches in the in the in the three or four months before the year ends, right? Mm -hmm. And then they still have. Somewhere between 10 and, and 12 or maybe 15 million switches that they have to sell otherwise, right? Yeah. I mean, just basic math here to get to their 20 goal. How do they get to 20 million switches sold in the next fiscal year? There's only one franchise that I can think of for, for Nintendo that could do that. Legends of Zelda already came out. Mario already came out. So we, we can't expect a main game like that you know obviously mm. tennis but that's obviously not going to do what odyssey did or what breath of the wild did mm. so what's the only other nintendo franchise that could sell that fire many copies emblem, and dude. that many consoles oh, man you're right dude fire emblem's coming out with a great game this year i can't wait man fire, no so uh, people that's the argument right people say oh fire emblem <laughs> there's other games crash all this stuff but if it's not an exclusive to the switch but i think fire emblem is if it's not mm. exclusive it doesn't really mean anything because it's not really going to push that many consoles you need something that's going to be exclusive to the Switch that's a giant franchise that is going to encourage people to not only buy the game, but buy the console if they don't have it. Yeah. And, and you know, and that's that we're talking 350, 400 bucks to go out there and get it. So I, with all that said, feel very strongly about the fact that the Pokemon game is coming out this year. I really do. They, uh, I forget the guy's name, Ish Ishihara maybe. Um, he came out and said that they're working on a core RPG title to be released. We're expecting, from what we've heard, end of 2018, 2019. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, 2018 at the end makes so much sense for all the reasons I just stated. I feel good about it, man. I really do. So I, I don't know. I don't know what what uh, what your thoughts are, but that's been my thoughts. And I know there's been a lot of speculation on when the game is going to come. Pokemon fans, a lot of people say, oh, I don't want it to come out this early because, you know, it's not going to be good. They didn't have enough time to work on it. Well, that's a bunch of nonsense, in my opinion, because they've been working on it since Sun and Moon. So they've had, you know, plenty of time, in my yeah. opinion. But those are my thoughts. What do you think, Chase? I just talked a lot. So, go so ahead. <laughs> no, so uh, my thoughts on it, and I was talking about it. I, I went over to a buddy's house the other day. He's another big fan of the series, and we were talking about it. Um, we've seen a cycle of uh, remake, new game, or remake, um, so, or new game, black and white. Black and white 2, adjusted version of the first one. Then we were given a year and a half, and then a new game came out. Then we had a remake. Then we had a new game. Then we had a remake uh, or a re-envisioned of the first game. So if we're comparing Black and White 2 and Black and White to Ultra Sun and Moon and Sun and Moon, um, we can anticipate something like a year and a half cycle, 15 months, I believe, from Black and White 2's release date to X and Y's release date. Um, we can anticipate something like that. I would say... Uh, if we're looking at like February of 2019, I would say would be like a great way if we're looking at just like times tables and things like that of when things are released. I could see that if they wanted to push it and be smart and go for like holiday season, then absolutely, you know, um, you could uh, you could argue that it would come out this year. They push it a little bit sooner just to, you know, cash in on holiday sales, all that good stuff around Christmas. But if they weren't going to do that and they were just going to, you know, follow that same pattern, I'm I'm still thinking that February of 2019 would be probably the latest we would see a game come out, you know? Yeah, and, and, and I think that kind of aligns, um, you know, I, I feel like the holiday release just makes so much more sense. Like mm -hmm. the likelihood that they're going to sell consoles, especially bundled, mm -hmm. uh, to reach that goal going oh, yeah. into Christmas season, Black Friday, Hanukkah, all the holidays, 
Uh, it just is just a lot easier because mm -hmm. kids are gonna ask for it for Christmas and stuff like that. That's how you're gonna really push the consoles. Yeah. Um, you know, so with all that said, that that's really how I feel in terms of I feel like they're gonna do everything they can do to try to get this game out. And I'm pretty sure Nintendo Switch's online functionality is gonna be released later this year. Uh, how perfect is it when the Nintendo Switch online is released with Pokemon? No, I no, mean, no, no. I'd agree with that. I'd agree with that. Oh, I need Rock Smash. And then what if they introduce a new Rock Pokemon? Smash? Yeah, I have it. You have to, oh, I, I think, go too. back to Verdant Turf and get no, it. No, 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 no. I already got it. I'll oh, give it to, it. Um, I'll give it to Icarus. And what if they put a new Pokemon in Smash Brothers too? That would so, mean Smash would come so out. So that after would be that would be something that's pretty cool. I'm gonna get rid of Will O Wisp. Um, that'd like, be something I know that's the whole cool. Zero so, Aura argument is a thing. Yeah, no, I could um, agree with that. Um, I also do believe that something along the lines of so say they use a lot of these big main titles smash fire emblems uh there's a lot of you know crash all these other good things that they were announced um what if let's say you know you said the fiscal year ends march 2019 so what happens when they release a pokemon game february of 2019 15 months after the release of ultra sun and moon and to help them just kind of top off that goal you know maybe they're feeling pretty confident going into uh you know, 2018, and they're like, all right, we need one last big swinger in 2019 to reach this at the end of the year. I think Pokemon would probably be the series that they go with. Yeah, for sure. No, I agree. That, that's just my thought. Let me know your let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. That'll be the question of the day. A very elongated question of the day right now, as far as it goes. Um, when do you think the next Pokemon games will come out? The next main series Pokemon games. You know, Dan's very Dan's feeling very strong about. You know, uh, a couple months from now, I'm thinking, you know, maybe with less than a year from now, what do you think? And, you know, if you've got some reasoning behind it other than, I really want to play Pokemon, then let me know. But if it's just, I really want to play Pokemon, then, you know, also just say it's because I like Pokemon games and Ultra Sun and Moon kind of tanked. So, I really want to play Pokemon. I really want to play Pokemon. Oh, you went for spikes. Okay, Aromatisse, that's that's adorable. You're cute. Calm I'm gonna down. go for Hyper Fang. Calm down, Aromatisse. Calm Jeez. down, it's setting up over here. You know, I love Aromatisse. After APA, man, Aromatisse just, I brought it the same ever, the same set every week. Let me and guess. Wish, Protect, Moonblast, Toxic. Uh, so Toxic would be replaced with Magic Coat, Heal Bell, um, or Calm Mind, depending on the situation. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds was, about right. <laughs> but it was like max HP, max defense, three attacks, and then the fourth one changed every now and then. Oh, I'm battling myself. It really be yourself sometimes. Whoa. Yeah, that's trippy. And it has a- That's next that's level. A, that's a randomized ditto. I'm really concerned what's gonna happen right now. Oh my god, a randomized ditto. What could- what could- it could just be nothing. Yeah, I wonder- I'm really concerned with how this is gonna work out. I got Ace Trainer Travis here with a Latios. Oh boy. Oh boy. And it's a Mega Latios, dude. Why does this keep happening luck, to me? Man. You have the worst oh, luck with no. Megas. Alright, Cyron. Do you big know, things, baby I've girl. I've actually never seen that sprite animation because I always play as like the male character. Discharge. Oh, this is gonna hurt a little bit. That's right. gonna tickle. That's a Megalodios. Oof. All right. And you didn't get yawning. paralyzed, so that's good. Yeah, well, I'm switching out either way, so the para doesn't matter to me. It's time to bust out the Deadpool, dude. Deadpool's level 31. Gotta give it to him. So, just so you guys know, like even with the experience share off, a lot of times in randomizers, you tend to kind of have like higher levels at the beginning because you're facing Pokemon that give off more experience because mm -hmm. they're randomized. Instead of facing like Caterpies and Numals and stuff, we're facing things like a Mega Latios, which is gonna give me way more experience than I would get, you know, if I faced like a, a Numal here. So yeah. you end up in all, sometimes, you know, being just like a little over level. There's not much you could do about that. That's just kind of how it is. That's why we no, that's just, share off. That, that's life. That's life. That's what life, are you gonna man. do? Oh my God, this Latios is kind You're of. You're gonna beast. be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. He hug? just he just has discharge. Just don't get. I will full say parrot. that choice banded choice banded night slash did like the choice band, 70%. man. That's that's top tier. That is absolutely solid, top man. tier. I mean, I want to get the uh, the mega stone hopefully at some point, but. Oh, it went for reflect. You, Ella kid, I don't like you anymore. It reflect typed my Ivysaur. Now I can't touch my own Ivysaur. Now <laughs> I'm sad. Dude, the pro strats, man. Pro Reflect strats. Type Lottie in, in league oh, and so he cool. actually doubles. What? What type of league battle am I playing? He goes out into Wooper. This is insane. You reflect whoop, whoop. type me and then switch. Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. Whoop. Yeah, I love me some Wooper. Whoop. Whoop whoop. 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 Whoop whoop. We're having a whoop off here. <laughs> it's an old fashioned whoop, whoop off. Yeah, man. Old fashioned whoop off, dude. Dude, remember back in the day when you used to have old-fashioned whoop-offs? Man, whoop. I tell you, I tell you, whoop. Whoop. 
Whoop whoop. <laughs> How long do we do this? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know anymore. Just keep whooping, dude. Whoop. Wow, I'm so glad Icicle Spear was learned, man. That is just, Smooch is just too good. Isn't it, don't you evolve Ivysaur at level, don't you get at level 32? Yeah. We're climbing, man. We are climbing. Yeah. Boys and girls, children of all ages, we are, we are getting there. Oh, and I gotta go through the chimney now. Oh, you're a, you're a trainer. You're a trainer. Is okay, Discord, is Discord like okay? You're oh no, I got it. I, I messed up some on Discord. I see it now. Okay. Yeah, you got my screen share? Yep, it's good. Okay. We're back. Spiritomb, okay. You know, I always I always thought the idea, everybody's always like, I want a Mega Flygon, but I always thought Mega Spiritomb would be really cool if like two ghosts appeared out of the rock or something like that. Oh, I guess that could be cool. I don't know, just my thoughts. Cause everybody's always like, Bug Dragon, make it a bug, oh, that's gonna hurt. I'm screaming. Oh! oh! What did it go for? Oh, cross chop on my normal fighting Ivysaur. Oh! I lost. You're having a bad episode, dude. Today's not good. That's that's two lives down right there. Oof. The randomizer strikes again. Oh crap! Cross shield? chop spirit to man. I'm I'm upset. How do you predict that? How do you I'm predict that? I'm upset, frankly. This is why we don't go with our four times weaknesses anymore. Just. Comment section, remind me not to lead with my four times weaknesses anymore. Man, now I gotta run all the way back. I've got a revive I can use. I might as well use it here. YOLO. I've, I've just been training with Siren to try to catch up. He's the lowest, so. Wants to learn He needs water to learn some good moves, though. He's water spouts one. the. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Water spouts. Yeah, it's we're like getting, eruption. Yeah, we're getting rid of muddy water for that. ASAP. Yeah, it, it's based on your HP, but. You need, uh, you need like, Crab Hammer. Dude, I'm waiting for. Yeah, right, honestly. All right, I'm gonna go for water spout on this loudred and just hope. Should do some oh, damage. Oh, there we oh. go. All right. Okay. Get ran. That fade has been ran. Jeez. Watch out for those uh, those T-bolts there. Blossom. Man. All right. Please don't be electric type blossom. With water absorb. <laughs> yeah, that's the strat, man. Better watch out for electric type blossom with water absorb. Foul play. Okay, I take those. I take those. I don't take yeah, any electric type moves, but I take those. Wow, I'm pretty sure. I've lost a lot of lives this episode. Wow. Okay. Cool. Yeah, Fun stuff. That's that's two for you, man. Fun times with a friend AJ playing Pokemon, losing lives. <laughs> Fun that's... times with my friend C Bad playing Pokemon, not losing lives. Mixtape dropping soon, guys. Be ready. Whoop. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> Whoop. Forest cursing Kecleon. Yo, Forest Curse is amazing animation. Dude, I was saying that in an earlier episode. I had never seen it before, and I was like, what is this? That was incredible. All right, I'm gonna I heal like up White Iverson that. here, and we're just gonna keep running through, because we're we're not evolving in this episode, but I feel like in episodes to come, we are gonna see some heat, some absolute firepower, if you will. Spe oh, speaking God. of firepower. He transformed into me. So do I stay in against the Flareon with my Ivysaur? I've got nine levels on it. Click and rock climb. I'm really confused right now. What so happened? I just went for Fire Fang, and it mm -hmm. says it's super effective. Oh, oh, I'm not confused anymore. So he used Forest Curse on me, which turned me into a Psychic it's... and Grass type. He transformed it to me, and then Fire Fang was super effective against him. There you go. That's an interesting mechanic. So if you get Forest Cursed, cursed and then they transform into you. I got cursed. Don't, cur <laughs> don't curse it in this episode. It'll get demonetized. I hate when people cursed it. Last time I tried to put a censor over it to avoid spoilers, everybody was like, why are they swearing? And I was like, spoilers. But they're like, but why? And I was like, because we're covering up spoilers. But no! And I was like, but spoilers. They're like, but stop! And I was like, okay. Yeah, watch out for that swirl. Is this the thing that evolves into Slurpuff? Yeah. Wow, I've Welcome actually- Welcome to Pokemon. I've actually, <laughs> thank you. It's <laughs> having a great time over here, you know? Welcome to Pokemon, dude. Oh, oh no! Slurpuffs. Oh, God. Oh, we're good. Oh, oh my god, man. dude. I was about to just, I was about to put it down and be like, all right, outro whenever, dude. I'm done. I'm done. This I'm not like going for rock powerful. climb anymore. That 85% accuracy is is vicious right now. Yikes, dude. And before T-Bolt, dude. Oh, I would have screamed. Bloody murder. Bloody murder. The dogs would have been freaking out upstairs. They'd have been like, oh no, is everything okay? Oh my god, this Toro's trying to use Focus Punch on me, dude. Oh man, dude. Vital throw, Sorlex. I'm gonna throw up. This is just, Those you know, I, moves, man. I, I, I've recorded Origin some- Origin pulls Tauros? 
Uh, oh, that's it. Too, I was about to say, it has 40 base special attacks. it was so attack. epic watching that animation. Oh my gosh. That's one of my favorite parts about a randomizer is just seeing, you moves know. That you the, didn't even yeah, moves that you didn't even realize, like. you know. Showdown like, doesn't have these animations, Chase. <laughs> You're right. That's why we need randomized Wi-Fi battles. Bring them back. They, they're a thing. They're a thing, but you got to like be within the vicinity. I'm going like to come over to your house for a week. Let's do some randomized. Say what? Oh my god, it's Elite Four Drake for the eighth time. <laughs> Dude, I'm like, seriously, last episode I faced him four times and now I'm facing him again. Like, Drake, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing, buddy? He's, he's not playing, playing with Ninja, Fortnite that's Ninja. what he's doing. Jeez. Stop, get out of my head. Get out of my head. I'm done. <laughs> I'm absolutely God's done with playing. this right now. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm battling Watson. Okay. What do we got that's going funny. on here? Bastiodon. Okay. I'm not clicking rock climb because this is going to be a fighting Have you ever heard of a Jaboka Berry, dude? <laughs> what did you call me? A Jaboka <laughs> Yo, that Hippity had an item called a Jaboka Berry, dude. And I took damage like Rocky Helmet. And it activated on the Hippity's death, dude. I, I don't oh, understand stop. that. Stop! Stop! Oh, I'm done! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Everything's a fighting type! Uh, why? Whoop. Why, God? <laughs> why? Can I get a whoop in the comment section, please? Whoa! Whoop. Whoop. Whoa. <laughs> I have one life with... Uh. Oh, no! Oh, no. I'm whoop. over it. Whoop. I'm over it. Whoop. Well, sky whoop. uppercut! Come on, man. And you had to hit it, too. He had to hit it. Watch him live on one and go for thunder. <laughs> That's the first dude. time Bastiodon's ever gotten a kill. <laughs> dude, literally in the history of forever. First time. Oh, man. Whoop, whoop, dude. Uh, I've got one life left. I got to hold on to that thing for dear life because I need. I, I want to see a Mega Evolve, man. Oh, whoop, whoop, dude. Polyrath, please don't be an electric type. Oh, I need another four times weakness. Like, I need a broken leg right now, dude. Forest Curse. Okay, we're living. I'm okay. Yeah, but now your water flying and grass typing could yeah. prove to be uh, It's gonna go for thunder fire punch, man, and it's just gonna blow me back because randomizers are awesome. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Yo, dragon rushing Venomoth. Watch out for that. Slack off. All right. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We're just gonna keep clicking acrobatics and crossing the fingers. And okay, we one shot. Good. Oh, boy. Dude, There's I would love to get stomach. slacking in this game. Yeah. Oh, Siren's learning Psy Shock. It's not, a, it's not amazing, but... It's at least stab. It's more so. stab, yeah. Oh my god, something. dude. How many lives am I gonna lose today? Anybody taking bets on four? We going for four right now? Cause I I'm Careful, I'm dude. I hurt. I hurt, I hurt emotionally. This guy is what Look I wanna be Arun. when I grow up right now. <laughs> a ranger? A, a ranger. secret base ranger? His name's Arun. Arun. Arun, Arun. Uncle I Arun. Give him an Australian accent. Crikey, he gave Take me a devices. It's not really Australian. Yeah, I, was, yeah, I didn't that's, say anything, guys. Okay, I was about to say. I was like, you, you really want me to stop talking so you can run that Australian accent back? Yo, I'm throwing trash cans at this Buffalon, dude. Nice and gunk shot. What did it just go for? Grass Pledge. Oh, man, you are. Yo, shout out to the time I brought Grass Pledge Silvalli to a league match, by the way. Really? Yeah, because it, like, I ran the special set with uh, the Grass uh, memory. Is that the only so that Grass way... like, coverage it gets? So you could run multi-attack on the physical side, but on the special side, it's better to run uh, Grass Pledge, yeah. It's 80 base power, it's not bad. Oh, that's not bad at all, actually. It was, I think it was, I used it to hit, uh, I wanna say it was either Sazbatoad or, or Swampert or something like that. Hmm. So, yeah, it was pretty solid. I don't that's think it's not did bad. anything, but it was, it was the effort that counted. <laughs> All right, cool. I got my secret base. Whatever floats your boat. Oh, tell me how to decorate too, Uncle Arun, please. Crikey. This is where you're going to put your gate mate. at. Would you like to make us all some your burger, please? I'm going to, I'm going to, Vegemite. I'm just going to offend everybody in the comment section right now from Australia. I love you guys. Never Sorry. Never had Vegemite. Neither have I. Well, so, or Pe spam. Pax Australia. I've actually never had spam either. That's not Australian, but that's just on list of things that we have not put into our body. Spam is on that list. I feel like it's it's not American really. And I like, know it's spam? not common here. Really? Yeah, I'm you're never gonna go to a restaurant and be like, yeah, I'll take two orders of spam, dude. I I can't you know what? You're you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Ooh, oh, thank so you for healing my Pokemon lady. That's exactly what I needed. 
with my last life. I'm taking I'm taking White Iverson out of the lead party, man. No, I don't need to take yeah. another nap. Two two lives lost there, and didn't you lose a life on something else earlier? Uh... I lost two lives on White Iverson, and I lost a life on Smooch. So Kaiba has one life, White Iverson has one life, Icarus has one life, Ragermon has three, and Smooch has two, if I'm not mistaken. Yikes. I'll remember yikes, in yikes, post, yikes. but I'm pretty sure that the, that's the life count right now oh, that I'm not a fan of. because that's what I wanted to face. Oh, yeah, dude. Did you know A-Drive got a shiny Palkia in one encounter? Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. Secondary hey, question of the day. If you made it this far, did you know A-Drive got a shiny Palkia on first encounter? I gotta just embrace it, you know? That, you that was a really cool moment, so... And no, that was, I mean, Kotaku... Did you know A-Drive got a shiny Articuno in the first encounter? Oh, my God. I remember soft resetting for Articuno, and I never hear the end of it. Dude, that was incredible, though. It was Christmas Eve. First encounter. I was like, oh, all right. I'll take it. Did I get Articuno? Pretty sure I got Articuno. Yeah, I got all the birds. I just got uh, Faramosa, and now I'm going for Celesteela. I think it's my last Ultra Beast. There you go. So, you got to do another yeah, Ploy Pull for Naganado. I know. It People was supposed to be forget. a part of my shiny lock, but I lost. <laughs> I lost the playthrough. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's who, a that's a, that's a Salt to? Louis Rampardos right there. I'm trying to think of who I lost the playthrough to. Ultra Necrozma? I've... Oh, yeah, 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 that's it. I lost Ultra Necrozma. Yeah, I thought I was going to be able to handle it with uh, Metagross, but I got crit. I, like, started setting up X items, and then I got crit. So. Thousand Arrows, Rampardos. Ooh, that's kind of spicy. I'm an Ice type. We take those. You're lucky it's not a Rock moves, Rampardos. Cause oh, my God, dude. I just, I'd, 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 I'd quit, dude. If I lost four lives in total in this episode, I'd, that's I'd go to the Pokemon bro. Center after every trainer battle. That's, that's what I'd have to do. But Smo Smooch and Ragermon are, like, in their 30s, so we're good. They're getting old. Yeah, man. Yeah, oh, War Turtle has pressure. Shout out to Eevee Light War Turtle. Bro, you better draft that. You better draft that, or you're not real. Nah, dude. Mm -hmm. I am real, but I don't know if I'm gonna go with Eevee Light War Turtle. But well, it's what a other, legendary what? Pokemon, man. It's so good. What War Turtle? Yeah, dude. I love me some War Turtle. All right, let's hope this Whirlipede doesn't have a fire move. I haven't been using Cherim as much. Uh, because I'm trying to be safe with Jack Frost because, you know, fire moves and rock moves and, mm -hmm. you know, of the sorts. Yeah, no, 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 I hear you. Oh, hear he you. went for Stealth Rock. What do you think? Should I switch out? Yeah, dude, totally. <laughs> what are the chances he has a rock move right now? Make the play. I would say, I would say relatively high. I'm going <laughs> to go. Yeah. Oof. Dude, yeah, just go into your hair across, man. You're fine. Nah, because that's weak to rock, too. My dude goes for, like, rock record. We're going to be Waiting in trouble. Waiting for Earthquake. Power gem, yep, called that. We take that though, we take that. We take those. All right, Nuzleaf, still be grass or flying. Or just let me get five max rolls on Icicle Spear. Cause Smooch is a god, give me four, give me four. Let's go Smooch, that's what I needed. I needed go. that, I needed that today. I can't believe no, I've lost three lives, dude. I'm love me some x -Otus, dude. x -Otus? Yeah, man. Isn't that the kind of car you just bought? An x -Otu? No. An x -Otu? I got a cross track. Not an X-Atu? No, I didn't get an X-Atu, but I was thinking about it. That's a good good one. Pokemon, oh, thank you. Thank you, May, for healing my Pokemon yet again, because I was I was very afraid. Oh, did you if battle you May? No, 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 I'm just, I'm about to go through like the, the Spinda area, like to okay, full Okay, yeah, if you want to wrap up here, I got to go through the, the secret base thing. Let me just get one more trainer, or one more Pokemon, and then we're good. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you're just going up against that thing. Green Machine, huh? Yo, yeah, if you if you are of the age to remember Green Machines and you had one of those, I want you to know you are a part of my crew. I love you. Green Machines were awesome. I hit puberty at an early age, so my legs were too long to effectively use them, but I always wanted one. Did you ever have a Green Machine? No, but I'm facing a speed boosting Verizion. So All right, just just hope it's not you know. Moonblast. Moonblast. Oh, you resist that. I, I'm poison type. Yeah, yeah you're fine. Good. You're fine. But yeah, no, so green machines were like, it had one big, like, two big wheels on the back that was on an axle, and you had two levers that you could pull to, like, steer, and you would pedal, and you had, like, the one front wheel. I don't know. It was it was really, really cool. But as Dan wraps up his Verizion battle, we are going to end this episode off right here. Next episode will be over on Dan's channel, so make sure you guys are subscribed so you do not it's miss so out important. on that. The link to that will, you know, be, it'll be in the playlist on both sides. Go do that. Show some love on this like button, though, if you guys did enjoy. Of course, don't forget to answer the question of the day in the comment section down below as well. Uh, Dan, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. 
I got it. I made whoop, it. I it's the whoop off, and he beat the Verizion. Whoop. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of yeah, you. Yeah, I had soft will, dude. Soft will, Moonblast, T-Wave. Wow, that's Weird. that's the next level strats. But yeah, we're going to wrap up right here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I want to remind you guys to be great and do great. I'm going to let this outro bang. I'm going to talk to you all soon. Later. Later.